What's going on everybody? Scott Oden coming at you. Earlier this year, I asked on our Facebook posts and on Twitter and here on YouTube, what do people want to see on the channel? What do you want to see more of? And majority of you wanted to see more live lessons as I was going through working with students. So I asked, you answered. Now let's go ahead and deliver what we want. So today we're going to do a live lesson with a complete beginner student. So this is a complete beginner going through some of the basics that we want to go through. And this is stuff that honestly I cover with whether it's a complete beginner or it's somebody that has been playing for a long time, but maybe not sure what to do. We want to go through some of these basic things that really, really can help our game. But also you want to get rid of these questions. Am I doing this right? Am I gripping it right? Am I setting up correctly all of those types of things can we get rid of those questions because that leaves room for us to think about other things that are going on all right guys so as we're going through the swing here a couple of things as i'm talking with katie on this there are going to be some things that i will tell her again you have to be very careful how you work with students because one of the big things is i want to make sure that they know that this is doable golf is a very very daunting task when they first start i've had students that have gone to certain places where they will list out like in a checklist they literally put it on a screen and they'll say this is everything that you need to work on in your swing now we'll work on it over time but it's overwhelming to people when they see that they see man i got like 30 things and they just say you know what I'm never going to be good at this. I'm moving on to something else. That's not what we want. I want the student to feel like this is doable, but they need to take things in a step-by-step -step process. I'll go through all that as we're going through the lesson, but again, hopefully this will uh, help you see where we're going with things and uh, what we're trying to do to get better. So without further ado, let's jump into the lesson. All right, Katie, so we're going to get going here today. We are working on, you're pretty much a brand new player. You've done mm -hmm. like a little bit of top golf. Mm -hmm. uh, and mini golf. And mini golf, okay. Mm -hmm. So those are good. However, your goal is maybe to get out and maybe go try this on the golf course. You've got some friends that play and all mm -hmm. that and maybe join them. So we're going to do this. We're going to go through, do this just kind of like a regular lesson of, hey, I want you to hit a few shots. I know you're new. Mm -hmm. But uh, you have a little background in softball. You did marching band, highly competitive marching band. <laughs> yeah. So you got that. So that's actually a good thing. Um, but what I'm going to have you do is I want you, I know we're new, just hit a few shots. Okay. Do what you normally do. And uh, I call these the no judgment swings. So <laughs> we're not going to be judging just yet, although I'm judging all the time. <laughs> so let's have you hit them. Oops, I missed. It's all right. There we go. Got some air time on that. There we go. Got 73 yards on that one. There we go. 95 on that one. Look at me go. Look at you go. And you'll see. first thing we've got to set some goals for what we're going to try to do. So the first thing that we always try to do is rule one, you got to physically hit the ball. So we got to make some contact. Uh -huh. So you do a good job of that. We, I think we had one miss, one. Yeah. Uh, but then the rest of them you hit. So that's good. Uh -huh. Rule two, get the ball in the air. So you've done really, really good at that too. Um, but that's always going to be something we start with. We want to make sure you have the ability to get the ball in the air consistently. Then we can worry about where it's gonna go. So uh, you got a good swing, you swing it and give it a go, but we are gonna look at a couple of things that I think can help you uh, a little bit, make this a little bit easier. So today is gonna be a lot about, you know, when you're brand new, the biggest thing we gotta learn is one, we gotta learn how to hold the club. Two, we wanna learn how to just kind of start making the motions of things. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna ask you to do some things. It's gonna be weird, it's gonna feel awkward. <laughs> That's all right. I always tell people, if I don't make it feel weird, then I'm not doing anything. So you're just gonna be doing the same thing over and over again mm -hmm. and not getting better. So if you have hit any weird at shots while we do this, that's fine. Um, but we wanna get you just kind of making a little bit more of a motion that we can work with and be consistent with in the long term. So again, that'll be our goals as we go. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at it here. All right, so when we look at your setup, I'm gonna make these a little bigger here. Right. So what we're looking at is again good 
good motion. I'm just going to play it through for you so okay. you can see it. I'll slow it down a little bit. And so we can just kind of watch as we go. So we go back. Got some softball in you. <laughs> softball with the footwork and, and everything going on. So when we go to hit a golf ball, there's going to be a couple of things that we're looking at. One, we got to look at how you hold the club a little bit. So as you go through and swing, the biggest thing that we'll do when we golf is we have to have control of the club at all times. So you can see like as you go up to the top of your swing, that club's going to kind of like almost hit you in the shoulder a little bit. Uh -huh. As you're up there, you see how it's, yeah. it's like yeah. hitting in the shoulder? Yeah. So that means you kind of don't have a good grasp of the golf club, so it's kind of moving around a little bit. Okay. And then when you come down, you kind of have to, like, use your whole body to kind of get the club down. Okay. And in reality, we'd rather you just be able to move a little bit more powerfully, a little bit more consistently, sure. and you would have more control with your hands. So the first thing we're going to want to work on is getting you – to get the club in your hands properly. So okay. we'll talk to you about a proper grip. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about, you know, when you're finishing, you're kind of finishing uh, flat-footed here. I don't okay. know if you've ever seen golf oh, on the TV. the back foot's supposed to be up, right? Yeah, you see the golfers, they yeah. have that back foot. Yeah. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Again, that's gonna be where we start looking at things and saying, all right, hey, can we move a little bit more in a dynamic way so you can hit the ball first okay. and all that stuff, so. Let's talk about grip first, all okay. right? So when we work on gripping the golf club, so there's a couple of things that we have to know. So first off, you have to get the grip in your fingers, okay? Okay. In your fingers, not the palm. So when like we are right working here. on, yeah, so if I was holding it across, see how it's on the base of my fingers uh -huh. like that? Yep. So that's where we want it. The other thing is then we have to pay attention to the angle that the club is on our hand. Okay. So easiest way to take your grip, because it's really, really awkward at first, mm -hmm is we actually don't want to grip the club. One of the biggest mistakes we can make is actually put the club on the ground and then grip it. What okay. we want to do is actually take the club, take the grip while it's in the air. Like this? So kind of like that, but here's what we're going to do. Okay. So take the club in your left hand. You're going to hold it out directly to the side of you like that. You see how I have the club face and mine pointing at you. Uh -huh. So hold it out and reach as far as you can out away from you and put your hand on the side. There you go. So keep reaching out, reach out, reach out. And what you're gonna see is I want your thumb on the top of the grip right there. So the farther you reach out, you have to grip it in your fingers. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay. so yep. you can't not grip it in the fingers like that. So you just keep reaching, reaching, reaching. It eventually gets into your fingers. Yep. Now from there, grab it. Okay. And then you're gonna hold it up in front of you like this, okay? So you get it up here. If you need to help it, you can use your other hand just to hold it. So keep, your, keep this hand on. So again, fingers are wrapped around. Well. Now, big thing here is we have to pay attention to where the club is as far as is it square or anything. So right now, you see how the club face is hanging straight down? Uh -huh. That's not going to work for us. Okay. What we were looking for is the back, keep your hand on, the back of your hand here. Uh -huh. Make sure that's flat. Keep your fingers wrapped around. Oh, sorry. Okay? Yeah. Now, we want the club face to match this. So oh, you're going to twist. Okay. Good. Yep. Even more good okay. and you're using a seven iron so it's kind of angled so you yeah. got to kind of judge it a little bit now if you make them if you don't get it perfect what i'd rather see is Over. club face a little bit turned away from you okay. so grip it okay yeah. good make sure you pinch your thumb there good like this yep okay good yep. so now you're in there that is on there now what we're going to do is take the hand and just hold like that don't do your right hand oh, just yet sorry. just hold that okay okay so now you've got that club on there. It's in your fingers. Yep. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. See how you have this little line right here? Yeah. This is pointing more towards your right side. Uh -huh. Okay. Now the right hand is fairly easy. All you're going to do is with the club held up like that, here's what you do. You hold it up, come from underneath, and put it on. But I want you to cover your thumb. Your right thumb covers your left thumb. Like this? A little yeah. more spread out. There you go. This? Yep. So Good. my finger should be crossed? Yeah. So what happens is when you do this, if you do it correctly, you're going to run out of room. Okay. We want our hands to feel like they're working together as one. Uh -huh. So you either can, over, we call this overlap, because that's what you're doing now, or you can lock them together. So you could just... Like you, this would be locking them together? No. So that would be called a baseball grip or a softball grip. <laughs> so <laughs> you go, pinky can lay on top or lock. Oh, I see what you're saying. I think it's okay. Yeah. Either one. Okay. That's actually... Pretty popular one. And there we so go. like this? Yep. This feels weird. Good. Is it, my, I feel like my club's too far that way, no? Nope. 
It's going to, the way we're gripping is going to encourage that a little bit. Okay. But you want to get yourself, if you keep your hands on there and you just work on getting everything set so that's square. Good. Like that? Yeah. So without doing anything, okay. let's just hit it and we're not worried about what it does. I'm going to hit it though. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So big key that you said already, this feels really weird. Uh -huh. Okay. So it feels really weird. Biggest thing when people are taking their grip is they try to hold onto the club and not get rid of it. I'm not getting rid of it because I don't want to lose my grip. Well, right. Okay. But you're not learning how to take the grip. Okay. So you got to take your hands off okay. and you're going to go through that whole process again. Good. Fingers out. The thumb is just kind of close to the other fingers right on top. I put it on top of the grip. Yep, right there. Good. Hold it in front. This has to be flat. Make sure this is flat. Again, if you need to help, oh, yeah, I forgot I could do it's that. a good little strength exercise, but um, if you can't, so now from there, again, if anything, move that one a little bit. Have, it, have the face turn. So this is the face, yeah. right? So yeah. that's turned away from you. There okay. you go. Now you take it in front. Go from underneath. Hold on, oh, yeah. do that one time. Good. Good. And we're just trying to give you a way. Cool. Good. Is this right? Now, if it feels a little it feels, too extreme, yeah, can I go like that? You can just twist a little, okay. let loosen your hands a touch. There you go. That actually is pretty good right there. Okay. So again, if it feels weird, usually we're just gonna say good. Should I go ahead and hit it? Yeah, when you're ready. Awesome. Good. And we should see the ball go left. We are doing what's called strengthening your grip. That does encourage the ball to go more left. Okay. Because um, we're strengthening the face. Strengthening in golf would be more left for you as a righty player. So that's a stronger position. Mm -hmm. We'll see that. That's okay as we go. So, yep. Okay. Taking a look at it. Yeah, I just wanted to see what it looked like. So, yeah. You're not oh, gonna... I guess I could look up here, too. Yep. So... As you go. So it kind of looks like my club is on the angle. Is that right? Yeah, and that's okay for right now. Should I be backing up so it doesn't do that? Wait, what do you mean? Like, shouldn't I be moving my feet that like that way? Or? Oh, so you're saying where the ball is in your stance? Yeah. Like, it's like leaning. Like the club is leaning It's now. leaning yeah. forward. Yeah. Actually, actually, that's a really good thing. And that's something that you oh, get okay. while, by gripping the club like this. Okay. So, so it's good okay you noticed it. Yeah. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of little things that you might notice as you okay. go. And... Again, like we could tell you all these things, yeah. but we're trying to make the list as small as possible. Like yeah. we want, if I can, if you can think about one thing and it fixes like six things, that's great. You okay. know, because yeah. otherwise you start thinking, about, you, you know, we could think about a hundred things in this game. Sure. So yeah, that's looking better. Okay. Grip already looks a lot better. Um, one thing we'll just talk about a little bit is your stance over here. Uh, okay. It's not, it's not bad. Okay. It's just, we want to show you this because these are questions that come up yeah. as you start hitting a lot. So one thing is, let's just show you how to get into a good a good stance. Okay. Right now, you're kind of sitting back just a little bit, maybe to touch on your heels. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. biggest thing in golf, you just want to work on being balanced. So balance is in the middle of our, yeah. or the balls of our feet, you know, right, right the after the toes, the right? Yeah. yeah. So basically, if I was to act like I'm going to jump, if I get down to jump, uh, yeah. the part of your foot that you're using to do that, that's where you want to be. Okay. So to do that, the is the easiest way. So you just go ahead. Let's get your grip on there first. Okay, hang on. Yep. Go through this whole process. Right? Oh, yeah. I'll show you how I do it. I do it before every shot, even when I play. Good. Good. And which way is the face allowed to point. If More towards you. Yep. So there you go. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. So, okay, so the... now we're there. So let's say the ball's here. So here's what you're going to do. The... Hold the club up in front of you like this. Okay. So just get nice and balanced. So I kind of just wiggle my feet around and kind of let them settle. Okay. Okay. So you're standing straight up and down. Yep. Legs are locked out. Locked out? Like, okay. Right now they are. Okay, now they are. So all I want you to do is unlock them. That's all you need for knee bend. What you're going to do then is kick your hips back and just tip forward. Like that? Yep. There you go. And so if the ball's not in the right spot, move move the whole thing back or forward. There you go. Like that? There you go, yeah. Yeah? So yeah, that okay. looks way better. Hit it? Let's go ahead. Let's hit it. 
awesome. Oh, that felt better, actually. Yeah. You just be it a little bit more balanced. Awkward. Like yeah. awkward with the up part. So when we look at it here, what you're going to see, so that's you right now. Yeah. Your arms that look like. That was this last one. Yeah, your arms are just kind of hanging down. When we go here, see how you're a little more up? You're kind of standing up a little bit more. On, yeah. This is the left video. You're standing up a little taller. The arms are in a little closer. You just look a little bit more athletic. Again, you're, this is your previous one. It wasn't bad, but oh, I think my previous one. Okay. this is the new one right here. Oh. Oh. I think you can just be a little bit. This is the new one? Yep. Oh, just yeah. a little bit more athletic as you go. So. There we go. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Makes sense? Yes, it does. Let's do one more time. Okay? okay, let's run through that whole thing. Good. Now, how do you do your distance from the ball? So hold the club up in front. Oh, that's right. So, so you just lock, up. unlock, hinge. Good. And then you can, yeah, you kind of get balanced from like there. That, right? yep. Yeah, I like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we can pull back up our data. Oh, you were in front of the other camera. I'm in front of that one. <laughs> That's small space problems. Mm -hmm. But you can actually see, if we're looking at it on a data, uh -huh. just look at the ball as you're flying here. So... Let's just look at that. You actually see it goes fairly straight. Oh, better than it did at the beginning. Yeah, so again, like you feel like, hey, it's going to go left, but as you start doing more things correct, it's going to straighten itself out. Okay. So we'll be all nice. right there. So getting yourself set up, that's huge. Um, we kind of showed you a process there to go through. I do that every time. If I was going to hit a shot, here, I, let me show you how I do it. So like I said, I do it every time before I hit. So okay. if you want to stand over here, oh, you sorry. can. So what I do is, typically I get behind the ball, I'm looking at my target before I hit a shot, and I'm just holding the club over here, and this is the part where I'm holding it out, right? Holding that club out, hold it up, right? Looks similar. I don't always check it. I got a good feel right now of where I have it, but mm. I can check that part if I need to. As a beginner, you really should check it. Okay. So then from here, as I'm walking in, we do that part, right? Yeah. So we get in here, and again, there's the, there's the yeah. hinge, right? Yeah, yeah. So we can do all that in a much faster way. But as a beginner and as somebody that's trying to get this dialed in, yeah. yeah, I would do it over and over again. And so, because like you said, it feels weird. So you want to have a way to tell, because tomorrow it might feel different. Mm -hmm. You might be like, oh, I'm going to do the same thing I did yesterday with Scott. But you need to do it in a way that makes it so you can tell that you're doing it right future in gotcha. the future, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so go yeah. ahead one more time. Okay. All right, guys, so we're going to kind of cut it off here because I think that's going to be a lot of what people want to think about. This was the big focus of our lesson. You can see she actually can make some decent contact with the golf ball, and she was starting to get the ball out there. Now, we did continue on with the lesson, kind of getting started with what was going to be next which is we want to get some speed into this. Before we get too technical, I like to see people work on swinging the club, get some speed. So introduce to her what's called a lag shot, great training aid, I highly recommend it. It's always linked down in the description below, but it gets her swinging the golf club. Now again, not really concerned if she hits it well or not, we want to see that swing speed go up. That is something we are going to continue working on. If we start doing these things, then we can start working on how the body moves as we go through. And that would be the progression that we would go through next in the next lesson, which we will do in a couple of weeks. So we'll make sure to continue that as we go through. But I'm interested to hear your feedback on the series, what's going on, and hopefully answered some questions about some of the key things that you should be doing this off season, which is, do you understand your grip? Grip is really hard to change. So you want to do it in the off season and you need to come up with a system to make sure that it doesn't get off because if it gets off, it's really hard to change it back. It feels really uncomfortable. The other thing is getting yourself set up. These are things before you hit the shot that we can do well to make sure we are going to have success. So we want to get those things right. And then, like I said, getting our student to realize that she needs to swing the club, not just throw her 
body at it and hopefully that it works out, okay? So again, if you have questions, I wanna hear those down in the comments below and I'd love to hear your feedback on the series as well. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you click that subscribe button. We'll see you in future videos, all right? So thanks everybody again and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.